What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carmen New Boo shocking video, Corey girlfriend, Shay and Carmen. Um, let's get it. I dropped the video last night talking about Rissa and Quan. That link is popping up as well as it's down below. But let's get into this video. Carmen revealed in her recent video that her lawyers are working on her paperwork to stay in the country. So congratulations to Carmen. What happened with the lawyer situation, girl? Because they keep on calling me, telling me your paperwork is ready and that you good to go, girl. <laughs> nah, I talked to them already. They said I got proof. When we called that lawyer afterwards, what's going on with her paperwork? We sick of this being held over her head. Y'all got paid, blah, blah, blah. And they said that Corey wasn't responding to the emails. They would not proceed without him doing whatever and he never would do it. So mm -hmm. that was the whole process of your paperwork because people think when you're married, you're already considered like it illegally here, but there's a process you have to go through. We called the lawyer and was like, hey, do she need to hide? That's crazy. Hide out. Hey, do she need to uh, do she need to take the baby somewhere? Hey, and the lawyer said, no, nah, she don't need to do all of that. She good. She yeah. can legally be here because she's in the process. Carmen new boo big boogie was thrown off when a woman came up to him and did this. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I do a video with you to make my ex-boyfriend jealous? <laughs> can you make her do a video of what? With you to make my ex-boyfriend jealous? What type of video is this? <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna say something real quick. Okay. All right. This for eating my ass from the back. Oh, wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, wait, what? This for eating my ass from the back. Oh, wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not just let her walk up and say anything. Best friend. I'm going to tell you in a video when I react to the song. I can tell you right now, I'm going to do it in a video. I may not drop names because I really don't have to drop names. Like, it was in y'all faces. <laughs> it was in our faces. It was in our faces. It was in y'all faces. It was in our faces. Girl, who? Your best friend in our faces. Nah, she already confirmed that it wasn't Chaz. Who was Renee? Was it Shawty Corey took on vacay that time? It was her friend. Did he take her friend on vacation? I can't remember her name. Okay, y'all, we got to come on now. Y'all got to do some some of that work. And then I am working on I don't know. <laughs> on the music video. Because I promise y'all a music video, so you may do it like an angel music video. It's 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 cooking. It's cooking because it's a story that I have to tell. And since I already put the song out, like this the video has to match the song. That's all I can say. The video have to match the song, so just be prepared to see it, cause y'all gonna see it, guys. Two other songs ain't the music video. Ugh. That sound like a backwood over there, ain't it? Yeah, I have a lot in stores for you guys. Previously, I reported that the A&P destroyed their Airbnb to the point that the landlord had to kick them out. Now they're staying in a $30 million penthouse in New York, but they just received a $20,000 bill from the Airbnb. Bro, and we got kicked out the trap house. I just saw the invoice for the damages there, bro. I'm gonna say did because we know who the fuck did it, bro. It's three niggas that did it, bro. And we know who the three niggas are, okay? But it was a lot of damage. I feel bad for the owner low key, but uh, luckily he wasn't mad or nothing, bro. He wasn't even, he wasn't, he was just sad. <laughs> and then that's worse, gang. Yo, I swear to God, that's worse. I swear it's worse. I, I, I think it'd be better if he was just angry at us. I would have built them niggas 50,000. Cause they would have paid, what, they would have paid whatever fee. This whole time I'm thinking it's cap. No, they was really over there tearing that man shit up. I'm thinking they done bought it or something, you know. <laughs> they got money. So, like, y'all, the money that they have, if y'all knew, y'all probably throw the fuck up. And I don't even know, but I definitely know, like, you could think of a variance, you know, if you're not in social media, you definitely cannot. Just know it's filthy. 
They would have had to run me 50 to 75. You know what I'm saying? First of all, my pain and suffering. Second of all, if I take you to court, I'm charging way more. You know what I'm saying? So just go ahead and throw me my 50 to 75. We could we could land on by 65. You know what I'm saying? Give me my bread. 20,000 for the emotions. <laughs> How we Bailey was trying to get Halo to He's say mama. He's the cutest. Mama. He be working at that part of the brain. Hey, friend. She got to get in front of him and be like, mama, 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 mama. Like, she got to keep doing it. DDG knew what he was That's doing. How do you feel about quick keep getting you pregnant without a ring? Real quick side note, y'all comment down below. I feel like when you two women answer these type of questions, really deep down inside, they pick these questions in hopes that the YouTube men or, you know, their boyfriends actually see and hear them talk about this and eventually come to the conclusion like, okay, maybe you need to get up on your shit. Even though I'm saying I don't care, obviously I care because I picked the question. Because if I didn't care, I would never talk about something that I don't care about. Does that make sense to y'all? I'm not even just talking about Daisha. I'm just talking about women in general. Like all the women that are not married that pick this question and then we get back to this topic all the time. So I don't feel like no ring should define uh, me having a kid. Like, daddy, what do they got? What do that got to do? I'm not going to. I disagree with you, voice, only because, bro, you, when you get married, you're not just marrying for a ring. Like, Bro, you're involving them people. I genuinely, when I think of marriage, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, them. And I'm talking about people that have nothing to do with you being married. Like, I just don't like that. It's way bigger than um, just a ring. And with kids, clearly, if you doing the do, it's a possibility your ass gonna get pregnant. That's just that's just the price you gonna pay with that. I feel like it's totally different. I feel like because you just said it's a bigger commitment than marriage. They both big. Like marriage, you you gonna be with somebody for the rest of your life. God forbid you decide to um, get a divorce because shit happens. Unfortunately, you gotta have them conversations when you go through when you trying to get married and whatever. You gotta have these conversations. Like, come on, bro. This shit is a lot. Like, yeah, everybody act like it ain't nothing. Don't nobody want to involve them people in my marriage. Marriage can end. Your baby mom, baby daddy gone forever. But it's just all. Ugh. We're having a kid. <laughs> Let's make it make sense. Because it ain't making no sense. Y'all always trying to tie a man and a kid up. Ain't nobody trying to. <sighs> it's just, it's. I don't need a ring to want to have a kid. I'm 28. Whether I, well, I'm supposed to wait till I get married to have a kid? No. I want to be a young hot mama. I chose to go through with having my kids. That's a lifelong commitment to my kids. That's not a lifelong commitment to a man. Because I will quickly do it. And she's right. Like, sometimes you want children. That don't mean you want marriage. Or that don't mean you want to deal with what marriage comes with. But you want kids. And you just chose him to be your damn baby daddy. It is what it is. Heck my shit and go you ain't even gotta leave i'll pack my shit and go with my kids and won't talk to you every fucking game you talk to the kids call the kids so don't call me call all me. that like can you imagine and plus y'all don't never know what the fuck going on in people's households they might have a cool little unit but that don't mean like it's unified forever and then we including the kids and then we gotta include the money and then we gotta include it's just ridiculous bro it's ridiculous Gigi, don't call me that's what I'm saying. So I ain't got to. I don't have to be doing Many all that. Many times, quick done to, cheated on her and shit. Like it's a lot. To do all that. Yeah, a I lot going eat, on there. I can leave. If I, I don't want to talk, I don't have to talk to you. Talk to your kids, because that's the only commitment that there is. Is the commitment that you got with your kids. I and feel that like that's how she personally feel. But we're going to keep it moving because I don't Going don't viral know. because people keep saying that she's going to get treated the same way Carmen got treated. So I guess she's trying to prove a point that she's different from Carmen. Is she showing a man how to treat her? You know, you know that me getting out the car open door for you is so extra. 
you can open the doors and get out. Now I can open it for you and you get I'm sorry, I agree. <laughs> I agree. When we going in somewhere, let me hold the door. When we going coming out somewhere, let me hold the door. I just feel like getting up out your car to go open your door. I definitely feel like it's extra. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> just, what are we doing? First of all, I, I'd be ready to get out the car and go handle what I need to handle anyway. I But I make sure I wait. Honey, sauce takes seven years to get out the car. I wait. I wait on her. I'm right here. But yeah, I think it's extra too. Yeah. Anywho, <laughs> I do believe that you teach a man how to treat you. The reason why I say that is because I agree with that different too. men come from different backgrounds, for one. But two, different men do. I don't care to be married. I just want a wedding. Me too. I will give your ass a wedding all day, every day. And I shit. I don't know whatever fun I got to put it in. God forbid something happened to me, honey, so I can get the money. That's that's the money and whatever else she need. I'm cool with that part. The rest of it, I don't want to involve them people. I really don't. That's all I could think about. Can you imagine? Like, God forbid something happened, but we let's just be realistic. Something happens. You ready to get out of the marriage, and they talking about hold on, you got to wait a year. A year. A year? I mean, I, bro. You got to talk to a counselor to make sure that y'all don't want to be together no more. And a counselor got to decide on if we if we believe it or not. Like, or if we really... Bitch. <laughs> y'all can't have that shit. Like a woman. Don't but I will fuck a wedding up. Let's do that. I, I definitely want the unit part of it or the um union part of it but uh. another woman less than the other but different women require different shit in his past according to him he's not used to having to do certain things that i require of him and that's what i mean by like if i was raised a certain way like my daddy opens all my doors my daddy carries all my bags my daddy touches every bill. Like, that's principles that I was raised on. I have a father in my life. I have my father my whole life. I'm a daddy's girl, like, as y'all can see. So with that being said, I'm not finna date a man. My dad always said, if he can't treat you better than me, then it's a waste of time. And so that's how I see it. Like, I'm like the girl that likes inside of the sidewalk. I like, I like roses every single week. All things that CJ is required to do because that's the standard that I set. Beer was on a brand trip with Jordan and she went live yesterday. Y'all, I've been vlogging this whole trip. Who is Jordan? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, baby. This E. Look. Oh, Jordan. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me tie my shoes up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach down there, y'all. Let me put y'all down at the bottom. I love this outfit. That's some shit honey sauce put on. I love that shit. She did her one too with that. Uh, the outfit I'm talking about is the shorts with this, uh, whatever that thing called, corset, whatever. And the white and gold ones, period. Uh, what happened? Some people get married because if something happened before a man passed away before 65 years old, whether you're divorced or not, you're entitled to his benefits. Yeah, but you can, they have, um, like IRAs and you know, shit like that for that. I could do that right now. I just got to find the right, um, uh, not bank, but the right thing to invest my money in. And God forbid something happened to me. They get a lot of money. But, uh, I, yeah, I want to look for something like that. Ooh. I don't like the shiny pants. One. What is that? Do y'all see that? What is that back there? OMG, <laughs> that, that is something huge. Y'all, look, you see it? Somebody said, not you on live. Y'all know, baby, I don't be on no live. Shoot. Yeah, jo Jordan, I paid Jordan up, did back. this. Y'all better go over there and thank Jordan. This might just text me. Yeah, what happens if, if I have to... Yeah, y'all see the shame, baby. Lily in the mud. Some days have yeah, some of our marriage. We got to figure this out. <laughs> like I.
said, baby, I had to style it. She helped me out. I sucked in as much as possible, but it's just me. Wait. Wait, I gotta change my phone case because it's not gonna work for the night. Like, this is not giving with yellow. I gotta change my phone case. <laughs> you see Callie pregnant. Yeah, Callie. Just, what Callie? Hanging around. They got like an idol. Sticking y'all on them. Whoa! <laughs> gang in the. Gang in the. Y'all, who is that girl? <laughs> y'all, we waiting for. Everybody, look at us. We Duke heard. X. Y'all oh. know we was gonna be late. I actually don't believe. Damn, no. Especially you. We is. I'm not. Nobody is here but us. I literally can't believe that we're early. Oh, bitch, you can get your dog. They're loud. It's all about the dog. They're loud. All that street niggas are big fuck. You broke niggas. That should be your business. They're loud. Almost in a minute, minute, knock. That's loud. All about the end of the profit. That's all, sir. All right. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.